Welcome back to Schmitty's Off-Road. Today, we're doing another exhaust install from rpmsidebyside.com. That's right, yet again, another exhaust. That makes it four that we've done so far, including this one, and every single one has been amazing. So I started with the Desert Series, and then I went to the Captain's Choice kind of dual E-valve, and then I went to the Titanium E-valve, And now we're gonna go to a full three inch badass exhaust. That makes four big dogs, baby. Too bad I can't run all of them all the time. It kind of stinks to have to take one off, put the other one on, so on and so forth. But that only means I'm gonna be doing more giveaways. So I just recently did my first 500 subscriber giveaway. But you guys are gonna stay tuned because I'm gonna have more of those coming. So don't you worry if you missed out on that first one. But this video is all about the new three inch exhaust from RPM side by side. It's kind of a combination of a desert series and their sport muffler. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. But first, all I'm gonna need to do is take the stock exhaust off, which is also connected to the titanium e-valve. That's right, man. I was running that thing and it sounds beautiful, especially out on the trail when you're ripping and you can switch back and forth, especially like if you're going down the road and you pass some neighbor's houses, you just put it in quiet mode. Once you hit the trail, loud mode engaged, party mode, baby. But that's pretty much it for that side of things. But we're gonna go ahead and strip that down and then we are going to show you what this new three inch exhaust is all about. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So as I was saying, this exhaust is gonna be pretty similar to the Desert Series plus the sport muffler that RPM has. And what I mean by that is it's got the full three inch design and then it goes into that little muffler baffle type thing that the Desert Series exhaust had. And then it goes into the actual muffler and then out through the three inch tip. So it's kind of gonna be like the stock exhaust as far as the looks, other than you have this awesome stainless finish. Not quite as showy, I guess, as the titanium exhaust, but I like this solid kind of chrome stainless finish. I think it's gonna look really good. And a few cool things he did with this exhaust is he's got more of a V-band type Sorry about that, ESPN's alerting me of my college game day. Back to the video. He includes a new style V-band type clamp. So instead of having the three bolts, it's gonna have that heavy duty clamp right there in the middle. So that's gonna make that very strong and really kind of easy to install overall. I'm really excited to get to that part. He also includes a new gasket for your turbo where your turbo mates up to the head pipe he's got new bolts some thread locker and the other thing i would highly recommend if you guys are going to purchase any exhaust get the spring tool i think this is maybe ten dollars you can probably get some other ones on amazon but rpm side by side sells those and the last time i was changing an exhaust you know it didn't end well for me so what i was doing is i was obviously pulling the springs that hold the stock exhaust on and if you don't have a spring puller, those things are a pain to get to. You can get all of that at rpmsxs.com and make sure you use code SCHMITTY at checkout so you can get yourself 5% off. But we're gonna go ahead, pull that stuff off, get that beautiful three inch exhaust put on there. I'm not gonna show you guys a whole lot of the install because really there's nothing to it. It's pretty much the same as all my other exhaust installs. Pretty basic as far as tools you need. A couple extensions for your extension, going to another extension for your turbo bolts, and like I think a 10 mil and some other basic tools. But you guys can go check out any of the other videos if you wanna see any of that stuff. But we're gonna go ahead, skip to this exhaust, fire it up, and then we're gonna hit the trails. And I am pumped. I just switched to some 32 Coyotes. And man, I love the way these 32s look. I think the Pro XP should come with 32s from the factory. Even if it was just, just that setup right there from the Turbo S, I think it looks amazing and it performs great. So we're gonna go ahead, get that exhaust on, fire it up, and then we're gonna go rip the trails. Woo! 
It is clean. I love the full stainless look like that. It looks really good. The solid V-band clamp made it very easy. Oh man, I can't wait to hear it. One real quick thing, what are your guys' opinions? Should I run the rear fascia or leave it off? I'm kind of thinking run it right now. I don't really like that back heat shield. If maybe that was out of there, it would look better. But I'm thinking run the rear fascia for now. Drop a comment down below what you think you would do. And then we're gonna get to this startup, baby. Let's go. This might be my favorite exhaust by far, and I'm not exaggerating. This thing sounds so good. It's a little bit deeper than stock, but it's not that loud. I mean, really, it's not that bad at all, and it sounds amazing. I can't wait to get out in the trails. It's starting to look a little gray out there. I know it's supposed to rain tonight, so I gotta hurry up and get all this stuff cleaned up, and then we're gonna go hit the trails real quick and show you guys what this thing sounds like. Oh man, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the three inch RPM Power Sports full exhaust. Man, you guys saw how overgrown it was out there. I thought I was freaking bushwhacking and now you look at it, the whole radiator is like growing bushes. So I'm gonna have to get that cleaned out, make sure I get that all blown out and 
good to go for the next ride but again that's gonna be a wrap that exhaust sounds sick i love it i'm definitely gonna be running that one for a long time so again if you guys want to get any of this stuff remember it's www.rpmsxs.com and you're going to want to use code Schmitty and you're going to get yourself 5% off. You can get anything. If you've got a Razor, Can-Am, they've got some Kawasaki stuff, go over there, hit them up, talk to Jason. He will get you set up and burning right. So again, that's going to be a wrap for today. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.